What's up XRP family? Thank you guys for joining the video for today. Let's dig in. We have some interesting stuff going on. What Eleanor Terrett is hearing from Ripple is that there's nothing really going on with the SEC government case. Re XRP but some procedural court related stuff as the lawsuit limps into the new year. This is actually insane guys. Just think about this. This lawsuit has been going on for almost two years right now. Two years that's a long time because it went by very fast but if you think about it that's a long time like that's hurting investors that's really crazy and ripple is one of the best established in the crypto market the best company literally there is no better company following the rules look at ftx we keep saying it but they are literally covering everything up that happened with sbf so we have to dig in guys we have to understand what is going on here because they are literally staging and scripting the plan that they have the bigger plan is to really stall ripple and actually not let them do its thing but they don't have a choice anymore they have to acknowledge ripple right now because ripple has the breakthrough technology and they have everything in place so they have no other option right now they have to figure a deal with ripple and that is exactly why it's taking this long but remember november has been such a crazy month so if you think that nothing happened in november you didn't really pay attention yes the xrp price didn't move that much but look at what happened all the things that are happening that are pushing regulation actually so think about that congress ripple has been tied up in a fake gary gunsell lawsuit for years now while he was meeting with sbf from ftx he has also presided over the failure of Luna, Celsius, and Three Arrows, and MF Global. This is insane as all these companies didn't have a lawsuit. Why? Why is this happening? Why have you not held him in front of you to answer for this? Now, it's clear as day what is happening here, guys. These people are corrupted. These people don't care about investors. That should be very, very clear right now. So let's take a look at this video and understand what's happening. With regulations that there had always been an issue as to whether or not tokens, whether or not Bitcoin, cryptocurrency at large, if they're securities. And because of that ambiguity, no agency really stepped in to say, you know what, it falls under our purview. And yet you are here and you're saying, you know what, it's clear to me. <laughs> Where do you point the finger at this point? Well, it's, it's very clear, Melissa. So I, like everybody in our community who was fascinated by the FTX story, so as I'm reading the details, I come to understand FTT. And Listen carefully, because he's going to talk about the Howey test and how he determines the FTT coin, which is the official FTX coin, is a, actually a security, which didn't got sued by, by the Securities Exchange Commission law. But then they sue XRP which is clearly not, doesn't meet the Howey test. So, so listen carefully what he's going to say about the Howey test. And when I read that FTT had a claim on the profits of FTX, too many acronyms here. Now that's the key, because when you hold FTT, it has, you have a claim on profits. See, that's an investment contract. You're expecting profits by holding the coin. There's no such thing with XRP. So let's, let's dig it. When I read that, I said, wow, that's my view of a security. That's clear cut security. I did some research, it took about a half hour, and you had to go back to 1946 to the Howey case. And the Howey case established four criteria for what constitutes a security. And FTT meets perfectly every one of those criteria. So it's not, it, it's clear as day that FTT was a security and as a security. Look at this guys, clear as day that FTT was a security from the beginning. Gary Gunser met with SBF, nothing happened. The Howey test and crypto, investment of money, common enterprise, investor expects profit, profit from other works. Now this is, this is clearly a security. XRP doesn't meet all of these requirements, definitely not. Security can and should be regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission. And this mandate is not, you know, off the fairway, Joe. It's right down the center of what they should be doing. They've been criticized by being too expansive in their mission. This is core. They didn't do it. And investors have, you know, lost billions of dollars. 
So the SEC should have stepped in on that front. How about how about the notion of the exchange? There are a lot of crypto platforms out there these days. You ran an exchange. Do you think that there should have been or there should be tighter oversight as as a platform where you're buying and selling these things, whether they be securities so, or not? So one, I want to clarify, when you say exchange mm -hmm. in the crypto space, it's different than NASDAQ. So mm -hmm. what we have is the concept of DeFi, right? But the crypto world is the opposite. It's the most centralized finance system we have today. So FTX was clearly an exchange. They also were a prime broker, an introducing broker, a clearinghouse, and a custodian, and the regulator. I've never seen anything this centralized. So clearly we need a regulatory structure in place that addresses that, puts the proper checks and balances in place. That's not available today. But what available? what is available today, and it'll be very effective, is regulation of securities. If you have a token that is a claim on profits that is a security, it's directly in the purview of the SEC's mission, and they should get on with that job. Very clear, clear as day. Now, when you look at this, do you really think that the SEC doesn't know this about XRP? Like they know, they absolutely know, guys. It's all, a, it's all a game, and you have to understand. Once this lawsuit is behind XRP and Ripple, it's going to be crazy, guys. Literally, buckle up because it's going to happen. Here you can see the value of transactions that is happening, guys, in 2021. The, no the numbers are insane. The total value is 991 trillion, which is the Fed wire, large value wholesale. Now, we all know that Ripple is going to cover all of this, guys. It's the new system. It's the new world. This is how it's going to work. 448 trillion, 37 trillion, 8 trillion, 72 trillion. You're talking about trillions of dollars that can be covered in transactions, right? We're talking about an age-old system that is going to be replaced. Think about this. Don't let people distract you. Don't let people fool you. Because a lot of people don't believe that XRP can hit $100. $100 is nothing for XRP. Couple of Mr. Pool drops, which are happening all the time, guys. It's crazy how Mr. Pool is just predicting everything after each other. Japan's SBI holding CEO shares latest Ripple achievements. So here you can see Ripple expands on-demand liquidity to nearly 40 payout market adds machine learning capabilities. So they actually use some kind of um, some kind of machine learning system, which is actually tracking the how it can make more efficient transactions. Crazy, right? Notably, the service provides liquidity for cross-border payments using XRP as a bridge currency. It's coming, guys. It's coming. It's almost time. Here we have a decode, which is actually very interesting. If you read this decode, you can kind of guess that things are coming. Venus is most visible in November to December. So we have November and December, but Venus is very bright in night sky only in the first seven days of each moon cycle. Now, basically, I'm not going to read all of this, guys, but basically the decode of the posts of the Mr. V guy, which has been posting in Morse code, actually come on to full moons and March 17, which is this. And it makes sense with the the ISO 222 being implemented in March 2023, right? Fully. So it's already it's already live. They're already upgrading it, but it's fully functional in March, which we have been saying from the beginning. Half moon in the sky is 1130. Full moon is 12. 12 7 now with a full moon guys always things happen so be careful of that global credit markets are drying up the lack of liquidity means that borrowing and lending becomes difficult the systematic risk could result in a lockup of the financial system this is what we need a lot of people think that is just a date and xrp will moon no it's going to be catastrophe it's going to be a major event something very very big is going to happen which will shake the world and that's when xrp is going to move something like this the financial system will be in a complete lockup or complete down and that's when xrp poised to break new ground as ripple unveils this new trillion dollar worth 
ODL corridor. It's happening, guys. You can already see that the financial system is collapsing, the old one, and they're upgrading to the new one. Now here, this is a very interesting read of on the Ripple website. The global stablecoin race is on. Basically, they're saying that XRP Ledger is the best to actually issue stable coins. Here they talk about the Euro S to integrate into the XRPL, which I'm telling you guys, they are working together with all of the countries to make this happen. Stable coins as multi-chain assets. L listen to this. The use of both USDS and Euro S across multiple blockchain networks aligns with Ripple's vision for a multi-chain, multi-asset future. As banks and regulators also hop on board the multi-asset train, it becomes all the more essential to understand the benefits of public blockchains that interoperate, right? So this is the perfect solution to have different currencies. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like. See you in the next one. Cheers.